two important functions of a clinical decision support, or CDS engine, are evaluation and forecasting. First, we must evaluate a patient's immunization history to determine if a vaccine dose administered is valid or not valid for that specific target dose or patient-specific dose required to satisfy the recommendations of ACIP. Until a target dose is satisfied, the patient is not allowed to move to the next target dose in the patient series. Next, the evaluation results combined with additional supporting data are used to forecast when a patient should receive his or her next immunization. The CDSI resources are designed to support your CDS engine to evaluate and forecast. Here's how it works. During evaluation, the patient's immunization history and supporting data are examined. The patient's immunization history includes the names and dates of the vaccines administered and the supporting data contain the ACIP recommended vaccine dose standards. The patient data is assessed to determine if a vaccine dose administered can be evaluated, a target dose can be skipped due to a patient's age or immunization history, a vaccine dose administered was an inadvertent administration due to the vaccine type that was administered, was given at an appropriate age, was given at a preferred or allowable interval, was given in conflict with any live virus vaccines, was a preferable or allowable vaccine, and, ultimately, if the vaccine dose administered satisfied the ACIP-defined target dose. At the end of the evaluation process, we are able to determine which vaccine doses are valid and which are not valid. If a dose is valid, it does not need to be repeated, and the next target dose can be forecasted. If a dose is not valid, a repeat vaccine dose must be administered to satisfy the target dose. Once evaluation is complete, the process model determines whether forecasting is required. Forecasting for a specific target dose is not required if the target dose can be skipped due to a patient's age or immunization history, the patient has evidence of immunity, the patient series is contraindicated, or the patient has received all necessary doses and the series is considered complete. If the patient needs to receive another dose, forecasting is required. In order to forecast the earliest and recommended due dates for each target dose, data are collected from the supporting data components that contain the ACIP recommended vaccine dose standards and the evaluated patient series, or the output from evaluation. So, how is this information processed through the CDS engine? The process model, timelines, decision tables, business rules, and attribute tables work together to generate an evaluated history and forecast. Process models indicates the high-level steps to be executed. Timelines graphically represent dates and or time intervals, and attributes, business rules, and decision tables describe the way the CDS engine responds to various combinations of conditions. Technical implementers are then able to understand how different conditions result in a specific outcome. The logic specification details all of the rules your CDS engine needs in order to generate an evaluation and forecast. To find out more, visit the CDSI website.